Chefs are ready for you. Oh, howdy. How you doing? How's everyone going? Whoa. Very good, very good. Sorry. Really? Got the fanciest camera. What's up? So we're at Pinch Drive in San Mateo, California. New location? Yes. And I hear, is it the, is, is it the first? In the, first in uh, California. First in California. Right? Yes. Excited to be here. Mitch, the general manager? Yes. Todd, Contact sales Todd, manager. Todd, sales manager. So, uh, pleasure to be here. Excited to see uh, what Pinch Drive has to offer. We heard some great things and uh, have some fun tonight. All right. Yes. Dale, are, are these the famous influencers? <laughs> this is <laughs> nice to meet you. CEO Dale. Nice to meet you nice here. To meet you. I just uh, pinstripe CEO. Well, excellent. I we heard some great things about this place. You know, I know it's this is the first in California. Correct. So, correct. Exactly. So, are you guys outside of California too? Or? Yeah, we're in Chicago, Minneapolis, Kansas, okay. DC, Bethesda, Cleveland, Fort Worth. Wow, perfect. Okay. California. In California. In, in one day. Okay, well, appreciate that. Thanks, Dale. Oh, Thanks for having us here. Good media. Good okay. media. Well, perfect. Come on in. Um, the okay. chefs have prepared the food, so we'll do that first, and then we can take a of the rest of the tour. Okay. This is McKente. Hi. Hey, McKente. Hey, what's up, guys? How you doing? <laughs> I'm doing well. One of my favorite pieces in the kitchen is our charcuterie. Okay. We do sopressata, mortadella, and we slice pepperoni to go on our wood oven flatbreads. Mm -hmm. I mean, make those 650 degrees, super yeah. hot, crispy. Uh, it's working, working, working. I'm here with Chef McKente of uh, Pinstripe, and uh, uh, he's just, he was here earlier just kind of richly pulling the food down, but he's prepared a few dishes here. This is one of my personal favorites. It's a, our house-made lump crab cakes dish with a mustard rum roulade, a calabrese pepper sauce on the rim, and then if you look close, you have a pineapple habano salsa. This right here will be the money maker, our Italian jambalaya. No one, no one has it like this. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Right, right. Um, so we have our calabrese chicken, marinated shrimp, mixed with a Parmesan risotto, red peppers, and our signature Italian sausage. So this one is a classic. It's just our kids tenders with three chicken tenders, our french fries, and a side of ranch. And then this bad boy, it's seven ounces of calamari with a dusting of Parmesan grated, and then uh, julienne parsley served with our house-made marinara. Tiramisu, it's got booze and coffee in it, so <laughs> it's literally the best one. This is how far the Europeans are ahead of us. It actually used to be a snack when the kids came home from school. So you have something in your belly from a long day, you have caffeine, just enough to get you to do your homework, and then you have enough booze in there to mail you out afterwards. Nice. <laughs> like, so, <laughs> anything else you guys need, just let me know, okay? Okay, appreciate it. We are here at Pinstripe in San Mateo, California. Day before grand opening, I believe, Chef, the team has introduced us to some amazing looking dishes, and I'm excited to just, just kind of be a part of this here. We have first the calamari that he introduced, uh, kind of my preferred pick. Go ahead and get some of that lime, and I'm gonna, Sprinkle some of that lime onto the calamari. All right, I, think, I guess I'll get one of the one of these calamari body pieces here, and you can see that nice golden, crispy brown shell. Okay, I'm excited. I just want to go for it. You know, before I try any of the uh, that cocktail sauce, I want to go ahead and try it. This just by itself with that lime. That is crispy. Like if you've had calamari before, especially the fried calamari. You know it's gonna be one of those like finger foods, snack that you can munch on. This quality of calamari that I taste, it's, it's really fresh. I love that crispiness. I love the texture of the calamari. I'm gonna try the, uh, the tentacles now. These are the, the leg pieces, if you take a look at that here. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually use this now and use some of that cocktail sauce with it. And I'm probably gonna chase it with some of that, is it cilantro? It is, I'll chase it with the cilantro. One of my favorite leafy vegetables, okay. Oh yeah. Mm. I thought that was cocktail sauce, but it actually tastes kind of like like marinara sauce, like a marinara base. It might be just the marinara tomato saucy blend. Oh, that's good too. Mm. All right, calamari appetizer for the win. Also decided uh, to bring us out some uh, complimentary wine. This is the red wine. 
that's slightly fruity and very smooth too, yeah. Oh, that's delicious, wow. Oh, oh my good stuff. <laughs> oh, you, got the, you got the kids' chicken tenders too? Yeah, they gave Oh, wait, you, wait, you, are you gonna... Which one, the jambalaya? Yeah, jambalaya, wait, you try that jambalaya. Yeah, I saw on the menu with the crowd favorite. You wanna, Thanks, Dale. You wanna crack the bottle open or anything? Oh, yeah. Just say the word. <laughs> Thank you, Dale. All right, so we have another appetizer. Just like the calamari, this was something I kind of circled and said, I want to try try that. I believe they're formerly called jumbo crab cakes. I know he said there was a arumala dressing around it. Might be like steamed arugula. Are those like pineapples or potatoes? Just a number of different healthy vegetables on the bottom of that. I'm gonna slice this part here. Check that out. Oh yeah. Okay, take a look at that. All right, I'm gonna give that crab cake a bite. I have a little bit of the rumala dressing over it, which is totally fine. All right, cheers, here we go. Oh, okay. I knew you were gonna know, that's what I said. No. Wow, crab. Okay. I'm just a sucker for crab. Mmm, delicate, strandy crab. More kind of a, a pan fry-ish. Oh yeah, that's delicious. Let me try that, these veggies here now. Yeah, I see some avocados, some arugula. Maybe some tomatoes or sun-dried tomatoes. Maybe some onions. Here we go. Oh yeah. That definitely complements the crab as well. With that said, let me take that and just like slide it over. Slide it over that sauce. All right, chase that, those veggies with another crab bite. Oh, yeah, wow. Jumbo crab cakes for the win. Okay, they also have a white wine. Again, very elegant, very beautiful, and yeah, crystal clear white. Yeah, fruity, citrus uh, tinge to it, very refreshing. This was highly recommended by Pinstripe team itself, is the jambalaya. The jambalaya is one of their signature dishes along with the other signature dishes, but this one was one of those that they said you need to try. Big fan of jambalaya, I love to make it myself. But you take a look at that, they got that shrimp, they have the chicken, look at that nice char on the shrimp and the chicken. They have a, it looks like it might be pesto, and another drizzle of rumelade dressing. And that presentation is beautiful. And obviously my favorite leafy green here, the cilantro, healthy vegetable. And then you have the jambalaya rice, a long grain rice, perhaps, with those sausages and... Okay, let's just stop talking now. Take a piece of that. Whoa, I got a sausage bit right there. Oh, excellent. That rice, it's so fluffy. That tomatoey saucy ness from the jambalaya, the, the brothiness of that of the chicken flavor seeped in that jambalaya as well. Let me go and get some of that shrimp right now. Try some of the shrimp. I'm actually gonna eat this whole. I'm a firm believer of eating everything. To me, everything's edible here. Everything on this plate is edible. Oh, oh yeah. Mm. You got that nice smoky flavor from the shrimp. That nice soft texture. Yeah, very smoky. Taste it with some more jambalaya and get some of that. I believe those are tomatoes. Mm. Oh, let me chase it with my favorite, the cilantro. Oh yeah. Actually, that's parsley. I'm sorry. Another favorite of mine. Oh yeah, chicken. Yeah. Yeah. Nice grill on that. I'm gonna swipe that and get some of that. I believe that's pesto. I'm just gonna get some of that sauce on that chicken. Get it. Get it. Get it. Oh man. Oh yeah. So chewing that shrimp. <laughs> That's pesto. That's some spicy sauce, that red sauce. Oh, that, that's got some heat to it, actually. Hmm. That just elevated the jambalaya to another a level for me. Oh, that's spicy. I love it. Oh, yeah, perfect. Mm. Well, this is, I, I like that this shrimp lot. is awesome. That's a really good crab cake. Christian, make sure I'm not in any of these videos. I'm ghetto. <laughs> <laughs> So the next thing they have here is a chicken tender or chicken strip with fry dish. There's a, a different textural textural theme going on there with that fry. It's not just your regular French fry, but yeah, you know that's gonna be crispy. First off, so we're gonna try some of the chicken tenders. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of that chicken tender. Uh, without the sauce first, I'll try it as it is. 
Oh yeah, nice and crispy. Slightly dry, but that's because probably we've been having it sit for a little bit. I suggest when you have this, have it when it's already prepared, fresh and hot. But even then, it's still good. Let me try some more of that, that crispiness. But this time I'll add some of that sauce with it. I think this might be ranch. There you go. Yeah. That sauce here, um, I think it's ranch, but it's uh, more like a light tasting ranch. I'm gonna try the fry now. Oh wow. That was nice and like crispy, fluffy, and light. Like airy, crispy. Oh, that's delicious. Mm. Let me dip it with the sauce again. Oh, those fries are good. We have the tiramisu here. What I like about this is that definitely that presentation. Leave that cinnamon on top, and then you have a uh, like a fork image that they they did for all of your presentation. But it looks absolutely artistic. Wow. Okay, this is tiramisu, one of Chef M's signature or his personal favorite desserts. I'm gonna go ahead and cut that up. You can see the cross section of that. Oh yeah, I'll turn that over, see that? And it's okay to kind of mess up the art artwork because that's what it's meant for. It's meant to be enjoyed visually and edibly. That is extremely like fluffy and nutty. There's some nuts in there. Creamy. I, I do taste like a slight bit of like dark chocolate bitterness, which is fantastic. Oh, I love that. I'm not sure if that's cinnamon or is that is that dark like chocolate powder. It's like a like a dark chocolate powder actually. But yeah, if you've ever had tiramisu, you know what I'm talking about. It's so delicate. It's so smooth, so creamy, so soft, so good. Some strawberries on the side here as I take one more one more bite. I chase that with a strawberry. Yeah, have it with a strawberry. That's good. Our final dessert here, I believe it is a carrot cake with some candied almonds. I'm, I'm sorry, pecans, pecans. I'm gonna get like everything in one bite, so let me take one of the pecans, one or two, and I'm gonna slice that right off the uh, creamy center there as it drizzles and falls off the edge there. Slice that. Oh, wow, yes. Okay, I'll, oh, oh, come on, come on. Come on, don't fall. Looks like we're, oh, we got it. We got both, uh, we got both pecans. Oh, we lost one. We lost one. It's okay, I still, oh, we, we're losing it. All right, here we go. We got it, we got it. Nope, we'll do two. Cheers. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I just wanted to enjoy that bite. Oh, good. That is like so sweet, fluffy with the bread. I'll tell you right now, the thing that really stuck out was that texture of the of the pecan, but there were like sweet sugar pecans, and coupled with the, the carrot cake in general, and that cream, man, that was like an explosion of sweetness in my mouth. That was so good. Buttery, creamy, sugary. I'll probably say it. It's probably one of the best carrot cakes I've ever had. Here at Pinstripes, I'm gonna be greedy here. Take another bite, sorry. Mm. Absolutely fantastic dessert here. This tiramisu, it's so airy. It tastes like cotton candy in your mouth. Not the taste, but the texture, it just melts in there. You wanna try this just as mm -hmm. I will. We have our Caesar salad. Mm -hmm. I thought our dessert was less, but this is a, another leafy dish. Yeah, here it is. Again, the presentation of this Caesar salad looks amazing. You have these crispy, like, biscotti pieces here, I believe. Those chunky pieces of Parmesan. Obviously, that Caesar dressing. So, let me just try to get a, a bunch of that along with, uh, along with that, I believe, Shana says, the sourdough, sourdough breading. Yeah, croutons. There's also like a, like a tinge of, like, spice to it, too. Oh yeah, that's a good salad. Croutons. So there's, you said this is the ballroom you said? Yeah. The ballroom, okay. Full ballroom. Full ballroom. Seats 200. Seats wow. 200, wow. So not only do they have the, uh, the the restaurant portion downstairs, but they have an upstairs uh, activity and ballroom area with, uh, with some tremendous views as well. Take a look right here. 
Yeah. Wow. It's, uh, and the Christmas tree they put up not too long ago. Yeah, if you want to kind of have a party, this is the location to have it here with a beautiful view as well. Wow. We have our staff. They all wear purple shirts uh, for our full bar service. And then we'll go around the back hallway to bowling okay. so that you guys can see. <laughs> There's also a bowling alley inside of Pinstripe too. A few lanes, and as she said earlier, you can have reserve the spot here for an event, or all of them open to the public uh, without any reservations. Uh, but this is a place where if you want to have like a birthday party, uh, some type of a business event, it's a perfect place to come out here, play some bocce ball, and do some bowling. So we're gonna do some of that right now. Concentration. Yeah. Well, you got them all. We just finished the bowling part and that was epic. Um, oh, Safi made it out today. Now uh, Taj is leading us to, uh, I believe, bocce ball. We are closing up here at Pinstripe. Big thanks to Taj again and the team for just allowing us to, to be a part and check out Pinstripe. So, very exciting. Like to say, We're ready for the community. Ready for the community. Yeah, <laughs> Take oh yeah. Them by Did not mention that the grand opening here in San Mateo, California is tomorrow, um, Tuesday, but this video is not going to be up till later. <laughs> so, it's, it's open, it will have been open for quite some time. So, check them out, say hi to Todd for us and, and the team. So, all right. Thanks, guys. All right, guys, that was Pinstripe. We're just leaving here after experiencing just a plethora of activities from food to bowling to some bocce ball and and again just a big thanks to Taj who kind of coordinated this this entire thing here big thanks to to Dale the CEO of Pinstripe thank you for your hospitality the GM the team everybody the chef everyone involved in, in this meeting tonight so with that said if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you like it don't forget to subscribe to the channel I appreciate that peace out one love late don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss a thing. All right.